Do you wonder why all those millionaires appear to be so ordinary? You don't see them in expensive clothing or leading an out-of-the-world lifestyle. Well, that is the very reason that they are millionaires. Have you noticed all millionaires that surround you every day? Chances are that you have not because many millionaires do not appear wealthy at all. They may actually appear broke intentionally. So instead of wearing fancy designer suits, dresses, and high-end dress shoes, and cruising around in luxury cars, they look the same as people like you and me. If you believed up to this point that millionaires spend freely and without consideration, you would be surprised to know how they actually spend their money and what percentage of their income is allocated to expenses that you and I have. In fact, most people would really benefit from adopting many of these spending habits that I am about to share. Make sure you watch until the end so you do not miss any of it. Let's begin with Types of Millionaires Before I start with the list of frugal habits of millionaires, let me first tell you about the types of millionaires. Thomas Corley, the author of Rich Habits, conducted a study of millionaires over a five-year period where he sampled over 200 millionaires and analyzed their queer personality traits and how they spend their money. They all had net liquid assets of $3.2 million or more, including cash, bank deposits, and investments that can quickly be converted to cash, such as shares of stocks. They also had an annual gross income of $160,000 or more. Through this research, Corley found that there are generally four different types of millionaires. Number one, the big company climber. The first is the big company climber, someone who works for a large company and devotes all their time and energy to advancing their corporate career until they find themselves in an executive position with a very high salary. Number two, virtuoso. The second category is virtuoso. These people are the best in what they do and they are paid a premium for their knowledge and expertise. Formal education, including advanced degrees, often in law or medicine, is usually a requirement for the second type of millionaire. Number three, entrepreneur or dreamer. Next, there is the entrepreneur or dreamer. These people are pursuing their dreams, such as starting their own careers or becoming an actor, musicians, or an author. Dreamers are passionate and they love their work and those efforts reward them financially. The fact that they are entrepreneurs makes them unique and financially successful. Number four, saver investor. Finally, there is the saver investor. It does not matter what their day job is, how high or low their income is, what credentials they have, or what opportunities are presented to them. These individuals prioritize saving and investing consistently and they are always looking for smart ways to build wealth. This category of millionaires is most relatable to the average person, and they show that becoming a millionaire is a possibility for anyone regardless of their occupation. The truth is that most millionaires were able to reach a million-dollar threshold by just being an average person in the saver investor category. Reaching this lofty goal is possible for anyone. Whether or not you graduated from high school or came from poverty, Investing in the right kind of ventures and through the habit of saving can make you a millionaire. These are some of the characteristics of millionaires that you should adopt to become one yourself. Save at least 20% of your income. Corley in his book found out that in order to become a millionaire by being a part of the Saver Investor Group, you should aim to keep your expenses at 80% or below your take-home pay. That is where the answer lies to why millionaires often appear broke. Corley found that millionaires save at least 20% or even more of their income and religiously invest that money by implementing a frugal mentality. So the thing is that these people make investments their priority. The process of becoming a millionaire is quite simple. Just save and invest. You might ask how did these people manage to live a frugal life by saving more than 20% of their incomes? Well, good question. So let me tell you how they dive into their monthly income in order to reach millionaire status and how you can do the same. Housing. The largest chunk of everyone's budget is their housing expense. This could be because individuals often take on rent that is simply too expensive. Also, they are unwilling to live with roommates or make other sacrifices. Consequently, they end up spending most of their paycheck on keeping a roof over their head. The savory investor millionaires do not go wild when it comes to this expense. You need to keep your housing cost at 25% or less of your monthly take-home pay. When you are content with a small home or apartment, 
It can greatly reduce not only your rental mortgage, but your utilities and other costs that go along with a larger space. These individuals are also willing to sacrifice when it comes to location. Instead of insisting that they live in a prime spot in the city, they know the importance of frugality when it comes to housing. Also, they know that settling for something not quite as desirable will pay off. I know that you are thinking that homes and rents are incredibly expensive right now. There is no way that it could only make up 25% of your budget. This is a valid concern. Well, if you are modest in accommodations you assume and end up spending 30% of your income, that is okay. The main thing is that you spend as required with respect to your living and accommodations and not on the basis of the desire to show off. Food and home items. Millionaires just like you need to eat and wash their clothes. So part of their monthly income will be allocated toward these things. However, they are not ordering food every night or going out to expensive restaurants weekly instead. They are mindful of how much they are spending in this area. This could include managing how much food you waste, which most people do not realize can cost them upwards of $100 a month. Cars. Millionaires, in Tom Corley's study, spent 5% or less of their income on transportation. This might shock you as transportation is the second largest expense for the average family, just behind housing. However, the saver investor millionaire, according to the study, had spent 5% of their take-home income on transportation. This includes monthly car payments, insurance, gas toll, registration fee, repairs, and maintenance. Even though millionaires occasionally have expensive cars, it does not mean that they are spending large chunks of their income on them. Now, I know you are probably wondering how on earth you get down to a 5% car expense. Well, this is how you can reduce this expense. First, you need to ditch your car payment. Saving money to buy a used car eliminates a major cash expenditure every month. Second, take the bus where you can such as when you go to work. Finally, be a responsible driver. The better you treat your car, the fewer repairs will it need. And if you can keep your car for 10 or more years, you will definitely be speeding up your path to wealth. Clothing. Everyone wants to look good, but millionaires do not break the bank to do so. They spend just 5% or less of their after-tax income when it comes to their wardrobe. Well, despite what the media will have you believe, millionaires do not spend wildly on designer brands. It is, in fact, quite the opposite. There are certainly extremely wealthy individuals who buy luxury brands and have extensive clothing collections. Most millionaires wear generic clothing brands. This is one of the reasons why they blend so well into the overall population. As you know, it is better to be rich than to look rich. Vacations. The thing is, everyone loves some time away from work, but millionaires know that enjoying these precious moments of life does not have to break the bank. Millionaires spend 5% of their after-tax income on vacations, and this is quite a difference from their middle-class counterparts. It is extremely common for a middle-class family to spend a relative fortune on an annual family vacation. Whether it is a trip to Disney during school break or a tropical cruise, these are extremely expensive for the average household. Saver Investor Millionaire The type of millionaire you would likely become spends a reasonable amount of money on these vacations. They do not deprive themselves of travel or leisure, but they take a modest approach to expenses. Well, the whole point is, savings and investing can make you a millionaire in the long run. So, that was all from today's video. I hope you liked it. Well then, see you next time. Thank you.